Bernard, finally got your hands on that trophy again. How does it feel? Unbelievable. Um, uh, today, obviously, one all draw conceded in the in the last minute, but I think you know it's hard to replicate you know the experience last week winning it at Whitby away. But I think it was really important that we put a bit of a show on today for the for the home crowd, bring this little small town together to tell to celebrate a massive achievement for for everybody involved and and make it continue. You've done this before, and obviously you've won promotion out of many leagues. Where does this one rank for you, living just down the road especially? I feel like I've got a bit bit older, a little bit more wiser, a little bit more mature. Uh, sometimes you don't appreciate things in life, but I think today, you know, 40 year old on Wednesday, um, I think about coming out the game last year for, for nine months, uh, evaluating my life, seeing what we wanted to do, um, whether we wanted it to go back in, whether we didn't, um, have a good chat with my friend. And I think, you know, the, the, the only thing, the only club for me was, was going to be Ratcliffe. And, when you sit on the fence and you, you watch results week in, week out and you, you, you want to support your local football club. But um, we've we, we seen them last year, half a dozen times, and I, I, this is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to be a part of it and to see friends and family, uh, people I haven't seen for years, come together today to celebrate You know, the highest position record I've ever been to. It's, it's probably everything and, and, and what had to be to get me back into football, um, and, and we'll enjoy it. You talk about everything it had to be to get into back into it. It was a record crowd at the Newven for a Radcliffe game. Uh, uh, overall, in fact, how does that make you feel? Yeah, it's, it's, it's what we envisage. It's what we, we thought we could do. We, we always say, you know, I'm not saying we're the best at what we do or we're the best coaches or best managers. or But what we, what we do do is we, 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 we give people a platform to enjoy themselves and we create a culture where people want to be a part of it. And that's part and parcel of management. Um, a, a lot of managers will tell you different, but for me and John, oh, it's, it's, if, we're, if one's in, we're all in. Um, and there's lines that we don't cross and, and, and players and supporters and coaches know that but I think this this this, this football club's special to me I, you know, I, I, I played here 20 years ago for Clayton Glendon and to, to, to manage it and to get it to the highest position it's ever been at is, is special for me it's you know my mum, my dad, my brothers, uh, my, da uh, my daughter, my, my, my son, cousins, nephews, everybody it's, it's, it's unbelievable and when you've been at the likes of Chester and Spennymoor you know, sometimes it's hard for, for your family to commit to, to the distance on a, on a Saturday and Tuesday. But listen, we've said it. We, we, we sat here 10 months ago and we told people what we do or what we try and do. We've achieved everything we wanted to do in abundance. And I just hope that we can we can continue to do what we're doing. Um, I do believe we can we, we can go next year and enjoy it and, and, and mix it with the big boys, you know, Darlington's, Chester's. Scarborough, Scunthorpe, there's some massive clubs in that league and, and if they've missed anybody then it's not through, through disrespect to them but we're really looking forward to it and we've, we've really got that our mojo back, we've got that you know that, that bug back for wanting to win every game of football and we've created an atmosphere this year internally in terms of the dressing room and, and externally in terms of the crowd and we, you know we brought everybody together and that's the reason everybody looks like they're having an unbelievable day.